my people, make we come see, make we come, make we come. I beg, make we come see wonder, wonder. We na know that forgery certificate matter, no be small. Hey hey, make we come hear things. In short, I'm a let on a watch this video, but what I know say, waziri of Adamawa, ride on. Hey, Omo. Mona, you know what? As soon as they watch me, help me share this video. Eh? Share them, then we'll come, come back. We'll come analyze and make a talk. Wait in a real kind question what I won't ask for this video. Mona, watch. President Paula Ahmed Tinubu on Thursday said a clerical error is responsible for discrepancies on the certificate issued to him by the Chicago State University. Well, according to Tinubu's lawyers, an unidentified clerk of the university made the error about the date the school stated on his recently issued certificate. Tinubu's lawyers argued that the university incorrectly wrote the date of graduation as June 27th, 1979, instead of June 22nd, 1979, along with a change in the university's logo, which created the appearance of differences between an earlier issued diploma and the one issued in response to a 2022 subpoena. The claim is in their response to a suit filed by former Vice President Atiku Abubakar seeking the disclosure of Tinubu's academic records from the university. Well, users on social media have shared mixed reactions. Before I take tweets, Rufai, mm. you know, I'd love for you to just chime in here because you know that this issue of whether certificates forgery has been, you know, on the forefront of all eyes on the judiciary. No, but we just have to state clearly that anything happening in American courts is of no consequence mm -hmm. to what the judiciary has reserved a date for already. This is separate mm -hmm. from it. But there's been many conversations around this Chicago debacle. And many cases have been filed. Mm -hmm. And many subpoenas have been issued, all right, as regards this. And some actors somewhere have orchestrated also many lies. One of them, I think we had to talk about this around November last year, was that we brought to fore that there had been a case filed as regards this conundrum of certificates mm. at the court in Abuja. I think it was the Federal High Court or something. I don't know the jurisdiction of the court now. Where Enahuru Eba, a lawyer said that he had instructed his partner, Knowles, in Chicago to subpoena Chicago to get details of, you know, degrees and all of that and school records and all of that. And he said this was at variance with what the president, you know, now yeah. sent to INEC then. Right. There's that conundrum. And I think we talked emphatically as regards this. That was what happened then. Now, Alaji Atiku Abubaka in America also using the court system to be able to know more. And in fact, I think for the sake of clarification, you know, somebody had claimed that they even went to Chicago. <laughs> and I know that somebody, somebody. <laughs> the point I made yes. was the person claimed they went to Chicago on the 19th mm. of September. That was the day they visited Chicago. But why is it that the document the person claimed Chicago gave them was unsigned and it was dated in June. So there's been a lot of conundrum. And I would like the courts to be able to unpack it. But Alaji Atiku Abaka has filed in America. Mm -hmm. And the response of the Tinubu team now is the fact that there was a clerical error as regards date of graduation and the likes and all of that. Whatever it is, this matter is sub judice and the court will rule. What I just gave is a hitherto background. I will not talk about the matter that is sub judice. Right. All right. But there's been a lot of back and forth and confusion as regards this. So let's see how this court process pans out. The deposition and the reportage is all there for all to read. Right. Pure and simple. Well, you know that the United States had given a Tinubu until August 23rd. That is what, two days ago? Yeah. To, you know, give reasons as to why his records should not be released to the former vice president. But, you know, before I come to you, let me take some tweets. This is from Spotlight wrote, uh, Chicago State University had the opportunity to proactively issue an official statement to disassociate itself from the narco runner and lay out whatever went wrong 
with its internal admission processes over 45 years ago, but they preferred to cover it up and hope to the stench would go away. This is certainly how not to handle a crisis, PR 101. Everyone knows that a lot of people traveled and worked with other people's identities back then because of abstinence of biometrics, ETC. So there is no way they haven't reviewed this case over and over and identified what went wrong since Nigerians started pursuing this matter. Over to you, Ayo. Yeah, I mean, um, as it has been mentioned already, it's, this matter has come up a number of times. And um, in the last election, it tried to, you know, some people try to bring it up again, especially Absolutely. from the opposition. And it is important, even though it has no bearing on the judgment that's reserved by, you know, that's in court currently mm -hmm. in terms of the presidential election um, petition tribunal. I think it's important for Nigerians to know the truth, mm -hmm. even if it's just for, to put it on the record. And then Chicago, one thing about the United States of America is that they, they will uphold the rule of law. And so even though Chicago State University hitherto had not wanted to and had given a post-dated um, date to release the details of, um, of, of, um, you know, of, of the school records, by the act of law, the former, um, vice president, former Vice President Atuku has been able to um, place a demand for them to release it. So the onus would be on them then to see if they are going to do so or not. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, even though as has been established, it has no bearing on the judgment, it is important for Nigerians to know the truth. And let's put to pay, let's put pay to this conversation around oh, where's your background, what school did Absolutely. you attend? What school didn't you attend? I think we just let's just have closure. You know, as a people, I think that's all that I would say about this one. Yes, absolutely. Well, we'll move on to another story. Hanatu Musawa, the Minister of Art and Culture and Creative Economy, has been confirmed as a seventh member of the Youth Corps. NYSC confirmed that yesterday. The report follows a claim by the Human Rights Association of Nigeria, a civil society organization that Musawa is undertaking the one-year mandatory youth service scheme while she is still a member of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's cabinet. Kayode, your right. name just came off my head. <laughs> <laughs> but the point, we discussed them, Hanatu, yesterday. Yes. And unfortunately, she has come under fire because of this whole situation. And I know that the President Tinubu's cabinet had inaugurated a team for NYSC. And it's unfortunate that, you know, she's still a serving member, member. of I, NYSC and she's I been confirmed her age. as a minister. You, did you, what did you say? I said I should Google her age. Oh, no, she started I mean, it's not about the yeah. age, actually, at this but point. I thought no. age is a factor in NYSC. No, when you graduate before your third year. Yes. If you graduate after your third year, you get exemptions. Before absolutely, your absolutely. So, even if you graduate before your third you can do it any other time. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So, I think for how yeah, she... That's like chemist case. No, not chemist case. Chemi no, the has was forged. Was that's it the, it's forged. not forged. It's just a case of if you're not... Uh, if you don't have the certificate, you cannot serve. So Okay. I was just going to say Go that ahead, I really I, uh, want the women on this cabinet to do well. Yes. Because already we didn't even meet the quota of 35% that the president had promised us. But, you know, nevertheless, it is important that this controversy had come um, during the Buhari um, administration when she was, for the same reason of the NYSC, mm. she, wasn't, um, she wasn't allowed to go through by the House, mm. uh, by, the, by, the, by the Senate. And unfortunately, again, it's becoming a it's, it has come up again. It will now come to um, bear whether the president would say that she's serving, um, they've redeployed her to ministerial office to serve her out her um, you know, youth core. I don't know if that is even legal, mm. you know, or um, post that, but yeah. again, I hope it will be resolved. I yeah. hope, I wish I would. And you know, this whole um, situation with the unemployment rate, she also um, posted a tweet about that and she came under fire. She wrote um, breaking unemployment rate drops to 4.1%. Nigeria <laughs> is moving forward. I mean, we, this is just a ridiculous situation because as you know, like we have discussed it, what is the reason for this drop? As yesterday, the National Bureau of Statistics said that there, you know, there's been that sharp drop on unemployment. Uh, you know, they said that the figures are based on the new methodology of labor force survey undertaken in collaboration with the World Bank and International Labor Organization. Let me just take one tweet. Um, this is from uh, this is an anonymous tweet. This person says the biggest fraud and the most dangerous in leadership or management is to deliberately produce wrong data or information 
the result is a short disaster. Someone has BP of 190 <laughs> over 140, but tells the doctor, my BP is 120 over 80. Who will die? Another Twitter user, um, Atedo Peterside, also wrote, according to StatiSense, South Africa's unemployment rate is 32.6%. We in Nigeria have brought ours down to 4.1%. The only catch is that we brought unemployment crashing down because NBS Nigeria changed methodology of unemployment. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Rufai, I don't know whether I should laugh or cry. Well, all right, that's all I have for you on What's Trending. My people. Forgery, Yinisha. Forgery, Yinisha. You know, when they blame the school clerk, university clerk for abroad, abroad, no be Africa, no be Nigeria. When they make nonsense, nonsense mistake, oh, okay, the mistake comes too much. Diploma, two, you tender the logo for diploma where you tender, and the 2022 subpoena where you tender, the two logo different from the same school, carry to the uh, logo. Date of birth different. You know, go rectify them. You know, go rectify logo. You know, go rectify the school send a woman. You say, you know, go rectify them. You collect certificates, no sign, and you don't go rectify them. Ah, this one choked the intention of business as usual. Waziri for Adamawa, he hold them for a junction. So now go meet for Supreme Court, and I scale this one. Supreme Court, and I no go miss her. My people, you sign, they no do this. And in short, eh, as they talk that one, eh, and they come out, federal government say unemployment rate don't drop from 31 and 33 percent to 4.1 percent. We say we see now the one with federal, federal character woman, they collect millions to give. And, and job to people. How many people get millions to offer? I tell you my, my, my own experience. I've been at the one way GSK don't close down. Uh, all these soft drink company where they make beverages, soft drink and all that. They don't move to Ghana, Kotonu. Private companies don't shut down. Diesel price don't go up. I tell them that my way go quiet himself because he, they push one for work. Company don't feel generate money, don't feel pay salary. Now I see how you go pay school fees, take care of wife and everything. Now I go quiet himself. Small small company, diesel and everything, they know if you run, then they downsize. I know how many companies will don't downsize. Now they say unemployment. Like, I'm not getting it. In short, guys, I just leave on a dash on this video. Mokuna can and dash there. Help me share this video. Maybe then they see the dirty way, then they talk for their eyes. Make get make them see them. I want to know, forget I beg. Like and follow this my Facebook page, NHTVNG, if you never do, I beg. Go my YouTube channel, NHTV Anger. Go subscribe, like the channel, turn the notification bell. Anytime when I drop video, get a notification. Help me share the video, like the video. If you share and you like, and Facebook and YouTube go to suggest them for other people. My people, I been going to share this video. May they see when I leave on a comment, what you not think? I tire for that country. When the head rotten, eh? When the head bad, the whole body rotten. Now I'm the one where they see so many stars and the rest. Guys, I go see now for the next video. I'm going to take care. Bye-bye.